today we will look at uh, uh, the failover process from primary to replica in uh, RDS MySQL setup. So failover as in, in when you look at MySQL RDS in AWS, it essentially means the term is called as promoting the replica, right? I mean, if you look at here, uh, and this is so I've created two databases. One is the primary and one is the replica. So I can actually promote my replica. You can do a manual failover, initiate a failover, and make it as a primary. Right now, my replica is uh, read only. See, so my replica is right now read only, but uh, I can make it uh, read write. So sometimes we need we need this configuration, right? We need to fail over to primary from primary to replica due to some of our commitments or to for the DR activities. Or there could be many reasons why we want to fail over, right? So uh, when you look at a normal MySQL, you have to do things manually. But uh, when you look at a RDS AWS console, since it's a managed server, services, you get an options from the console as well uh, to easily do it. So uh, we will do the failover uh, here in this session. Uh, we have two databases. One is primary DB. This is running on 5.7.33 engine. I have given it instance ID as DB1. This is a micro instance with two vCPU and one GB of RAM. And right now the parameter group is the default. Option group is default and the parameter group is default as well. I didn't change it. Uh, and uh, then the storage encryption is enabled. GP2 storage, uh, 20 GB is the storage that I have given. And I have enabled the auto scaling till 100 GB. Okay. So this is the configuration. I have enabled the backups. Backups are there for seven days. And uh, then this is the monitoring. So I covered pretty much all these things in my previous sessions where we created the replica uh, primary and then we created the replica as well. Uh, you can look at my those videos to understand how to create all this. And so I won't be covering those things again in details. Uh, this is the connectivity and security. We can, this is the endpoint and this is the port to connect. And we can see what are the security group rules and we can see that the database is replicating to the replica. Okay. So this is about the primary. I just wanted to show you around uh, what is the configuration. The next is a replica. Uh, this is my endpoint for the replica port. And this configuration is pretty much same. It's, mo it's same actually. Uh, I've used the same instance size, same DB version, uh, same CPU, RAM, and the options group. So I haven't changed the default parameter group and options group. But uh, of course in production, you will not have a default one. You will have your manuals one, like I explained to you in my earlier video. So it's a 2 vCPU, 1 GB micro instance with multi AZ is not enabled. Of course, this is a replica. 100 GB, 20 GB storage. Maximum, it can go up to 100 GB. It's a GP2 and uh, we have some recommendations. You can upgrade your database to 5.7.37. You can just click here and schedule it or you can do an apply now. So it's up to you how you want to uh, uh, do it. And of course, you need to test your things first and this is the maintenance and backups so i don't have uh, backups enabled for now but for failover uh, when i will initiate this will go for uh, the, uh, the backup needs to be enabled okay because this will become a production right so this is so you need to have backups of this database as well so these are the log and events what is it when it was restored and then you know uh, read application resumed and these are the logs this is like the monitoring that we discussed so what are the connections variable memory read write iops and uh, yeah this is the connectivity and security so i'm already connected to my uh, instance here and uh, you can see that uh, the read only is in particular on for now because this is a read replica this parameter is on and i'm looking at the show slave status i can see that it is connected to the master and of course there is no activity right now because this is a idle instance nothing is happening but in your production, you will see a lot of uh, things happening and you will see that the read, uh, you know, this is continuously slave IO state will continuously keep on changing. And you can see that slave IO is running, slave SQL is running means the replica is running. And uh, then you have, this is the relay log file, this is the change log file, uh, this is the master log position and uh, this is the relay log space. So when we, when we actually look for this failover and all, then we really need to look at us uh, so how do we do will we actually do a failover kind of thing like we will uh, put our primary database in read only so you can actually uh, 
go to the primary DB. When you do an actual failover, you will go there and you will go to the parameter group and here you will change the read only to one. You will make the primary as a as, as read only the reason being you don't want any changes to happen to your database and of course you will shut down the primary uh, applications as well so that no changes are happening once that is done then you will uh, monitor the replication and ensure that uh, this uh, you know this replication positions is consistent so what you need to monitor you need to monitor this execute log position and the master log file uh, yeah read master uh, this master log file so these two things you will see that these two are that these should not change okay you can refer the documentation on what else what are the other log positions you need to see um, but uh, and other precautions you need to take but as for my understanding these are the some of the important things you will see and then sure you monitor it for a while that the replica is not changing okay so we can see that of course in our case all the things are same because we nothing is happening this is 154 and even this position is also the same so we don't see uh, of course nothing is happening because we don't see uh, uh, any 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 transactions happening on the production for now okay so this is my database and this is the replica now to promote the replica I will click here and I will say actions promote so I get all the screen I can reboot delete I can create a Aurora read replica I can promote, I can take a snapshot or I can migrate a snapshot. And there is something called as restore to point in time that uh, we can see in the primary database. We can restore the database to uh, point in time. Okay. So this is uh, another thing, good thing in RDS. You can actually uh, restore the database with the console itself. And, and uh, it, it depends on uh, how many logs needs to be applied and all. You can also give your custom date and time. So we will do this uh, activity as well in one of the sessions and see how it works. Okay, so, yeah, but this is a very useful feature. Yeah, you can specify what needs to be done. So when you come to primary DB, you need to go here and click on promote. Okay, so now I like I mentioned, right for now the backups are not enabled. And one of the requirement is the backup should be enabled because I'm making it as a primary. Okay, so backup is one, and I've given not given any preference. Then I will click on promote read replica. Okay, so as you can see, I just click there. Now what will happen is it will take a while, and you will see the status here as modifying. Okay, so in that case, the replica uh, will the AWS. The change master and those commands get, will get executed and you will see that the replication is getting broken and you won't find uh, in a while you'll find that uh, this uh, uh, you know you will not see this replication happening you will just see that this has become a primary a single instance yeah so it should take a small while it should not take too much time so now when we go to the primary db for now let's see what happens here right now we see that this is still replicating because that uh, you know that we have just initiated the command but now you see that the replication is broken okay so what will happen is in so it was replicating and it was acting as a replica but now after this the replication is broken and my database has become will be becoming as a primary so if i look here as well so i will see that my database the replication state is not there because the database is not replicating now it is it is uh, being transitioned to a uh, primary one now I look at it so take a look at log and events so let's just check this uh, mysql logs okay so this is the latest log let's see what's there in it yeah so you can see that it's uh, so what will happen is it will uh, do this it will make it as a primary and it will also reboot the database okay so you can see all this it is shutting down then you know it is uh, then again starting it now it says that change master to execute it okay so now it's not saying that now i'm executing uh, and uh, it's executing the change master command for this database and then okay so this was uh, for the earlier one when we when we executed the change master for starting the database. These are for those commands. Let's 
ओके व्हाट एल्स वी गेट हियर दिस इज द लेटेस्ट वन यप एप्लीकेशन स्टॉप्ड इन लॉक दिस स्लेव आई यू किल्ड वाइल रीडिंग द दिस एंड द स्लेव आई यू इज आल्सो किल्ड सो इन अ वाइल यू विल सी दैट दिस इज कॉट नाउ इट्स एक्चुअली गेटिंग रीबूटेड नाउ but uh, the replication has stopped and if you look at it we uh, the database has become stand alone now so it will just take a little while for it to get uh, rebooted I, i don't think it will take too much of time see now this is from where i can see the recent events here it says uh, you know uh, i enabled the automated backups right when when i was trying to promote it so the automated backups are enabled here next is to promote it so i so the good thing is in rds you can see all the events like what is happening in your database here i can see that i have promoted the read replica to a stand alone database instance so the database uh, instance this event is also captured and once it is promoted uh, it needs to be rebooted so the database is shut down and the database is restarted okay so should be available okay again after doing this it is taking a backup so we'll look at the configuration and nothing and you can see that uh, backing up the instance let's see if we have anything new in the log now uh, this is the new log that has come this is the okay so this is all the log of what happened and this is shut down and again it has started yeah so this is when you know uh it has been received and the slave was killed now the uh, we we uh, when we promote right this uh, slave was killed and the threats were killed the threat sessions were killed actually slave was killed as in the replica was uh, the threats were uh, shut down so that's why the replica issues are shut down now i can look at it uh, it's shutting down all the plugins and all shut down and then it uh, shut down complete then it started everything okay at the uh, so we, in this way we have seen like how the database has uh, started now let's look at the logs again now i'm still there now if you look at it if i give show slave status it is not showing me as uh, as a replica now again i will show it as show state uh, variables like read only so now the read only is off so when my database was a replica then my read only was on now if i look here my read only is off okay so now i will show databases i will have all these databases now i can create database test db so i created the database and now i can able to write as well yeah so with this we can see that uh, our database we started it and uh, we we had two databases primary and replica um, then we uh, promoted the replica we enabled the backups and then we promoted the replica it took a while but uh, now my database is uh, become as uh, primary now how what is the next step i think one of the next step would be for you to create some replicas for it for this newly database now from here you can create a read replica for this new database and uh, some of the users can actually uh, use the read replica for their work yeah so in this way when you promote it you are actually making it as a replica then you can further create read replicas from the database it will take a snapshot and you will have one or two more databases based on your requirement to uh, create Uh, to work as a pri primary and uh, this replica setup yeah so you can again have that setup up and running okay so yeah uh, this was uh, about it now in next a few sessions we will see how to uh, restore the snapshot as well so we can actually restore the snapshots and create a new database instance with those snapshots and we'll also look at how to do 
the the quiz duration of point in time and some of the next questions yeah so all right guys uh thanks again for your time and do subscribe to this channel thank you